Hi there, welcome back to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will going to talk about the day start and day end function. So these are relatively straightforward function and as the name suggests it basically returns the date with the date start timestamp and day end timestamp. So for example uh, if it is 1st of January 2020 and we are using the day start function on that and let's say if this particular date which is 1st of Jan 2020 has some timestamp attached, attached to it for example uh, 6 p.m. or 18.0000 uh, then it will return at what time the day was starting and this is sometimes very useful because you may want to calculate how much time it has spent between your recorded timestamp and when the day was actually started and uh, probably for the purpose of uh, productivity calculation or something which is related to the manipulation of time. So let's see within the script how we can do that. So over here what I have is a small temp table. Let's say these are the invoice dates that we have and it does not have a timestamp. However, uh, in your real scenario it may have a timestamp attached to it. So no issues around that. But uh, how we can simply uh, create an invoice, create a table which can give us this output. So over here, if I just create a new table, let's say INV underscore table. And uh, then we can simply say load. And uh, we can use the function which is day start. And within the day start, we, we, wanna, we need to idea, tell the invoice date inv date and then comma zero zero indicates basically the same day and you can go to minus one and plus one that we will see in a minute as uh, let's say d start and uh, we will call it a resident of what temp table and we can then drop table temp table because we don't need this after after we are adding this and then since we are at removing this I will just add a star because it has just one column or I could have simply said INV date so anything is fine and now I can simply save and load it load it successfully come to analysis create a table over here add the dimension and uh, dimension is first of all the date INV date and then another dimension indicating you the day start so over here if you see the day start is for the same date it's 12 am for this date it's again 12 am so on and so forth similarly you would expect the day end function so over here if I simply copy this and paste it here and call it the end and uh, we will call it the end save it and load it close analysis and now over here I will select create another dimension which is the end so now you have the day start with the timestamp day end and suppose you want to do one particular calculation say for example if you are from e-commerce you know you have the timestamp for each and everything like when the order was shipped when the order was delivered you know things like that and you want to calculate the actual time that how much time it was taking for the purpose of improving the overall customer experience in those scenarios this can really really work uh, in an amazing way uh, that you have you can dynamically generate like this with the help of these functions the day start and day end and then get it uh, calculated for you now the last piece which I will just tell you over here is the from 0 to minus 1 let's say I'm saying for day start and let's see the impact so if I just click save come to load data over here come to analysis now if you see from 28th of March it is changed to 27th of March so that means we have gone one day back and that's the sort of uh, 
plus and minus we can do earlier it was zero as as it is over here that means the current uh, date but minus one indicates the previous day similarly plus one will going to indicate the next day so and so on and so forth so whatever your calculation needs are related to these timestamp calculation day calculation and things like that you can get it corrected or calculated with the help of these two functions so that's about it in this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic